That was delicious. Welcome to the wonderful world of marketing. Uh, today we're continuing our series on app portals, the hidden, not particularly well-known, brilliant functionality in Windows 8. And today we're going to dive into pipeline. Uh, we're going to look at pipeline management and how you can actually use Office 365 and Dynamics and effectively integrate them together on the screen in a really elegant way. So I am in the um, sales productivity solution that we've been looking at the last couple of videos. I am logged in as the Shelly Ross persona, who's our CEO, and I'm going to go right into pipeline. So Shelly wants to see how things are going in pipeline. Now, I'm going to repeat this a couple of times because there's some very important drill down concepts here, and we'll be illustrating a lot of Power BI concepts in here in the next few minutes. So I'm going to click on the top tile here, which shows top deals. Now I've opened up into a graph, and to the right of the graph is a spreadsheet, which I'll talk about in a second. I'm going to go back to what I just did a second ago. So if you see this dashboard, I've got a high level view. I click on it again, and now I'm drilling down. I've got the top 10 deals in this graph. That might be enough information for Shelly. She might be heading into a meeting. She might not just get a quick look. But then I've also got a spreadsheet here. The spreadsheet is deeper. Okay? And we're going to talk about how to sort that and play with that in a minute. And then I can also actually open this whole thing in Excel, in PowerView. So I can go from the very, very high level, super dashboardy, all the way down to the most granular view of the data. And that is uh, an incredibly powerful idea. So uh, let's spend a bit of time with that right now. So let me start this. Top deals, I go in here, I see my top 10. I see Global Sporting Goods is a fantastic looking deal, $5 million. Uh, I can go over here, I can still see it's at the top of this spreadsheet. Now, I might want to play with this spreadsheet a bit. And the great thing about touch computers is there's some really neat things starting to come out. Uh, this is a set of uh, controls that allow me to take this and I can actually resort all the data in the spreadsheet. Just move this over here as a filter. And now it's all resorted by due date. Uh, and I might want to do due month and sales stage. I'm going to get that kind of sort happening. So I can add a couple of filters over here. And now I've got things resorted by sales stage and by due month, which is actually pretty hot. Uh, if you're really into marketing. Uh, and so I'll get rid of those filters and we're back to where we were before. So now I might say, well, this is great. I've got some good detail. I'm excited, but I want to know more. I'm going to go right into Excel. And this will actually launch Excel and brings up PowerView. Uh, so what we're going to see here is a PowerView sheet. And this is being built uh, from a spreadsheet with uh, about 100,000 rows in it. So there's a fair amount of data flowing in. And I can see uh, the PowerView view. And so I don't know if you're familiar with PowerView, but effectively think of it as a giant whiteboard. And you can create little individual BI components. What makes it incredibly cool is they're all built off one spreadsheet, and they're contextually related to each other. So if I was to say click here on the 20% sales stage, what happens is that all of the elements change in relation to that. Uh, if I click back there again, then it all changes back again. I can also um, go through and do some geographic sorting. So I can click on, say, Mid-Atlantic. And when I do that, this map over here on the left changes. And then I can say add, um, maybe I'll add the uh, South, I'll add uh, South Central in. And you can see now the map starts to move around. I'll put in the Northeast and we sort of zoom in. And so these elements are all related to each other and you can see the data changing as I play with it. And as I click on different sales stages, I can see the data in different ways. That's super cool. Um, no question, that's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, I can also take a look at this in a geographic basis. So I can go into something called Power Map and Power Map's pretty new. Most people haven't seen it yet. Uh, it is functionality that is in Excel 2013. You have to download it, but it is free. Uh, and in fact, Power View is free as well. So here's a Power Map view. Uh, I'm going to close this left window to give us a bit more room to play around. Uh, there's a legend here. I'm going to get rid of the legend, but I can always bring it back by um, clicking on legend. So I'll put that away though. Uh, and then we've got a map of the United States. So I'm playing with this with my mouse right now. I can uh, change the attitude of the country there. I can um, you know, zoom in, I can zoom out. Uh, but the neat thing about Power Map is it's also touch enabled. So you can see that I can actually do this with my hand and I can do a little tour of the country. And there's even a little animation bar here because there's some time elements in this data. So if I click this, it shows me how my revenue is growing uh, group by group over time. And I can even move the map while these little bars are growing. 
Uh, I can sort this and change this in a lot of different ways. It's an incredibly cool visualization tool, uh, and it's free. It's included in Excel 2013, just like PowerView. So now I've been able to go right down to the deepest level of my data. Let me go back to the application. Um, at this point, I'm like, okay, I got some insights, learned some stuff. What I really want to know is I want to know what's going on in that account. And what this will do is it'll go right into Dynamics 2013. I can actually go right into the Social Insights section of this. I can take a look at you know, the different people that are involved in the account. I can take a look at the competitors that this account competes with. And I can get a lot of insights. And then because I've got this integrated on the glass quality, I can actually click in SPS. And meanwhile, my um, Dynamics client keeps changing and updating for me and going through different clients. And so this, for me, is a really cool and elegant way to connect through different systems, have a view across a set of different marketing uh, issues and outputs, and make sure you're tracking your business. So thanks for joining us in the wonderful world of marketing.